Sundays ago, I introduced that subject. Last week, I talked about the subject of positioning yourself. It's important that you learn how to position yourself. And I talked about the woman who came behind Jesus and touched the hem of his garment. She knew that God was her healer. She saw Jesus as her healer and positioned herself and came to where he was and touched the hem of his garment. I talked about another woman who came to Jesus, formed Jesus talking to disciples and said, help me, my daughter is at home beset by a devil. In fact, Jesus tried to talk her down. He says, I cannot get the children's food and give it to the dogs. But she said, yes, I know. But even the dogs pick the crumbs from what falls off the table. She was positioning herself. In today's program, I'm going to talk about two men who also position themselves, Paul and Silas. They found themselves in a certain prison. It was midnight. Uh, they were in chains, but they decided to go beyond the chains and position themselves to receive from God. They decided to see. The Bible says that at the midnight hour, Paul and Silas were singing hymns and praying. There's something that happens when we decide to sing in spite of what we are going through. There's something that changes. And in fact, singing from days immemorial, singing has been a strategy that God gave his children when they are fighting against his enemies. When you read 2 Chronicles chapter 20, when Jehoshaphat and his army were overwhelmed by the enemy, it's amazing the strategy that God gave them. He told them, collect the singers, let them go before the choir. The Bible says, as the sun, the choir, as it sang, saying the Lord is good and his mercy is endure forever. The Bible says, as they sang, the Lord started setting up ambushes in the enemy's camp. Something happens when you choose to see. No matter what we are going through as a nation, no matter what you're going through as a family, don't lose your song. Don't lose your song. You could have lost your business, but don't lose your song. You could have lost a loved one, but don't lose your song. You could be having somebody in the ICU, but keep singing. Keep singing. And I'm going to talk in the program today about Paul and Silas. Oh, you'll enjoy the summer. Those guys decided to position themselves. When they sang and praised, God came down. Why? Because Psalms 22 tells us in verse 3 that God abides in the praises of Israel. When we sing, God happens. God comes. Comes to where we are. It's not that He is not there really. It's just that we are not experiencing Him. Just that we are not uh, recognizing Him. So when we sing, his presence becomes real, becomes manifested to us. And when His presence becomes real, it comes with healing, 
It comes with provision. There is a peace that His presence brings. There is a comfort that His presence brings. So let me take you to the service. But before I do that, as usual, I want to thank our precious partners. Partners, you make this broadcast possible. Partners, you're helping people. The other program, I prayed for a woman. We prayed for a woman in Busia. She had had bleeding for a long time. Instantly, as our prayer minister prayed with her, instantly the bleeding stopped. Women like her are being held by faithful partners who support us financially. You are watching me and maybe you have finances. You're wondering which ministry can I support? You're wondering how can I be a part of this broadcast? You can be a part. You can send us money on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, or whichever way the Lord leads you, on any of those numbers that are showing on the screen. And as you send that money, the Lord shall bless you, the Lord shall bless us, and the Lord shall bless His people. Let me take you to a service, and you see how to position yourself through singing. There's an option. Whoever thought about that idea, God bless him. I want to meet him in heaven and give him a handshake. There will be no social distance there and everything. I'll give him a handshake. I say, how did you think about the roof? The roof. Someone's roof. Without permission. And I also ask myself, where did they get that hammer? There's an option. <laughs> he had a sword. <laughs> when the, the ear was off. Like, I always wonder, why, why, where are the sword? Why was the sword? But he was like, man, you never know. <laughs> Jesus, you remember Jesus had told them that when I sent you, I sent you without a password, but from now, when you go, go with a pass. Whoever has a sword, have a sword. So Peter never forgot that word. Say, wherever we go, let me have my sword. <laughs> there was an option. Then they went to the roof. Jesus is preaching, talking about faith. Then concrete starts falling. Let me tell you, the room was full. But when blocks started falling... Suddenly there was room. You can pray a prayer that creates room for you. I said you can sow a seed that creates room for you. I said you can sing a song that creates room for you. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for you. You can sing a song. That makes room. Ah. Ah. When Paul and Silas were in the prison, they sang songs. And you know, God abides in the praises of Israel. They sang and sang and sang. Do you know when you sing and God becomes uneasy? Oh, yes, so I'm going to just, but I need to go there. Because he abides in the praises of Israel. So they sang and sang. And God became uneasy in his seat. Say, but there, there is a praise going on down there. Became uneasy. Became uneasy. They continued singing. The Lord will make a way where there seems to be no way. You know, you sing songs and God said, but they are tickling me. The way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My anger. God said, angels, can you hear what is going on at Holy Spirit Fire Church? I think we need to organize and, and go there. Uh, and, then, and then the choir leader starts saying, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't see it, you, you never stop. You ne so, mm, no, 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 no. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hallelujah! 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 Hey, Paul and Sai, I don't know what they sang, but, and you know when God arrives, he's not limited by padlocks. When God arrives, he not be limited by the padlock that the landlord has put on the house. You know, 
I don't know how you read the Bible, but when I see padlocks, I see padlocks on buildings, I see padlocks on shops, I see pad- when I see God opening those padlocks, I see God opening the padlocks in different. Ah, ah. When he arrived, he said, angels came and said, we have a problem. We have a small problem. The doors are locked. He said, where is the angel of the earthquake? Bring him here. We need an earthquake. So as they were singing, <laughs> even when I don't see it, you're working. You know, there are times when you haven't seen the miracle yet, but there's an earthquake. There are times when the healing hasn't happened again yet, but you feel it. And I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. You, know, you feel like, like something good is going to happen. There are times when my wife wakes up in the morning and says, I'm just happy. I'm just, I don't know what's going on, but I'm just happy. There are times when you're just happy. You just know something is about to happen. You never saw, you never stop. And then the shaking increase. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never. The Bible says the prison was shaken from the foundations, and the padlocks opened, and the chains fell off. The chains fell off. You know when the chains fell off, the other criminals. Also, their chains fell off. There is when chains fall off you and the effect goes to your family. When you drive a car and your family members also start moving in a car. (laughs) Oh my God. Like you have a PhD and your family members suddenly start believing we can make it. You know, some of us, there are certain things that limit us because nobody has ever done it in the family. But then God helps you and you do it and all of a sudden, the family realizes, oh, it is possible. It is possible. It is possible. The chains fell off and the prisoners, their chains fell off, but they stayed there. They were so impacted, so impacted, that they decided not to escape because they were free. They could not escape from freedom. (laughs) I wrote in my book, which I'm about to publish, they had no way to escape from freedom. They were already free. They had nowhere to run. When your family member, that's when your family member starts saying, who used to say you are mad, they start saying, Pastor Toi Neshara Yoko Tushavirahi. They, they, they kind of want to stay around you. They kind of want to visit you. They kind of want to be there. They kind of want you to say something. They kind of want you to... The one who used to say... Because... Ah. They stayed. Because two men, they made their way. They made room. They made room for God. Let your prayer, let your faith make room for God. Let your faith make room for God, child of God. Let your prayer make room for God. Those guys, when they lowered their friend in the, in the house and they made room for him, the Bible says Jesus looked at their faith. Faith can be seen. Don't be there saying, my faith is private. Eh, my faith is private. They have to be here. Faith can be seen. Me, I'm a private Christian. Me, I'm, uh, and I don't have to be like all oh, you guys there. And I, you guys, you, know, you talk a lot. Okay, 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 okay. okay. God does not run a secret service. <laughs> Stop lying. Now. God does not have a secret service. You're not a detective for Christ. Bible says, let your light shine. Let your light shine. God does not run secret agents. Faith. The Bible says when Jesus saw their faith, he told the man, your sins are forgiven. Do you know their faith procured forgiveness for their friend? Faith can be intercession. Kadaba. Faith can procure. 
procure a deliverance for your family. Faith can procure somebody because of your faith. A family member starts saying, I also feel like I need to go to church. I need to start going to church a bit. You know, your church, you know that your faith is beginning to deal with their spirit. But Jesus looked at their faith and he told the man, your sins are forgiven. And then the Pharisees started, how can you say his sins are forgiven? And then he says, to show you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, I say to you, pick up your mat and go home. And the man picked up his mat, picked it up, and the Bible does not tell us that the man said anything. Just picked up the mat, went home went home. Your faith shall cause some people to pick up their mats and walk into their destiny. You've, I thank God for this church. In this church we come with our mats. I don't know who I'm talking about. You came to this church with your mat and then you encountered God and you picked up your mat and went back home. You came with your mat of death. You came with your mat of sickness. You came with your da- mat of, of oppression. You came with your mat curses all over you and God looked at you and God looked at you and said, pick up your mat and go home. And you came back home. You came back rejoicing. You came back with a smile. on. Stand up on your feet. Let us talk to God. For one minute, talk to God. Talk for one minute. This is a moment. God is here. God is here. I don't know what God has been speaking to you in this service, but I I want you to talk to God. I want you to, your faith can make room. Your faith, I want you to make room. Make room for God. Make room for God. What you see is the room you will get. What you see is the room that will be available to you. If you see, if you see, if you see a big ministry, you get room for a big ministry. If you see a big healing, you get room for a big healing. If you see a big business, you get room for a big business. What do you see? Make room. Make room. We have one minute, children of God. We have one minute. Make room as you talk to God. Confess big things. Confess big things. Agree with what God says about you. Not what people say. Not what the newspapers say. Not what the news says. Agree with God. Agree with God. I'll make room for you. You, I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus, as I believe you, as I sing, as I, as I worship, As I confess my faith, as I declare my faith, I'll make room for two. I'll make room for you and I. I'll make room for my miracle. Make room for your miracle, child of God. In the name of Jesus, I want us to pray together. I want us to trust God together. You know, no matter what we are going through, God still answers prayer. I want you to always believe that. I want you to always tell yourself that God still answers prayer. The Bible says in Ephesians 3.20, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we can ask or imagine, by means of his power that is at work in us. To him be the glory. God still answers prayer. God, he says, ask and you receive, seek and you will find, no and the door shall be open to you. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. So I want us to pray together. In the name of Jesus, I want you to touch wherever the pain is, whichever issue you're having, put your hand there, and we join. I join my faith with your faith, and we look towards this God, this God who is able, this God who does amazing things. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for that precious soul that is watching me, the brother, that sister that is watching me, in the name of Jesus, I release your power in their lives. I release your power in their family, in the wonderful name of Jesus. Father, I agree with them that, Father, you will move on their behalf, that, Father, you will fight for them in the name of Jesus. Give them a testimony in this season. Give them a testimony like you gave to Jehoshaphat. Give them a testimony like you gave to King Asa. Give them a testimony like you gave to the woman with an issue of blood. Give them a testimony like you gave to Paul and Simon. Somebody that is watching and they feel like they are in a prison situation right now. May you come through for them the way you came through for Paul and Simon. 
in the name of Jesus. And there could be somebody watching me and you are like that jailer in the story of Paul and Silas. The jailer wanted to kill himself because Paul and Silas, he thought they had escaped. What he didn't know is that Paul and Silas were no longer in chains. It was him who was in spiritual chains. You could be in spiritual chains of alcohol, addictions, betting, masturbation. Or you just have lost your peace. You're not saved. You're not born again. You're not sure. You know? You're not sure of where you will go after here. You see, we are all worried and apprehensive about the people who are dying of COVID-19. But I want you to know that it might not be COVID-19. It might be something else. The Bible says that it is appointed for every man to die once. And then the judgment. You may survive COVID, but there will still be another time when you will have to face your maker. The question is, are you ready? Today there is an opportunity for you to be ready. You can repeat this prayer after me. I started off my journey 25 years ago with this prayer. You can also repeat this prayer. Say, Dear Jesus, I want to be ready for death. I give you my heart as my Lord and my Savior. I confess that you are Lord. I believe that you died and rose again. I receive you in my heart as my Lord and Savior. Today I am born again. If you have prayed that prayer, you are born again. Welcome to the family of God. You are a child of God. Send us a message on that phone number that is on your screen. Send us a prayer request on that phone number that is on your screen. Send us a testimony of what God has done for you on that number that is on the screen. And if you want to partner with us, you can still contact us on any of those numbers. May God bless you. Stay safe. Protect yourselves. Stay at home as much as you can. Move away from crowds. But as you do all those things, stay in God. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I want to give you an opportunity to partner with this ministry. We are able to do these things that we do because of the support of faithful partners. I preach the gospel on television. I preach the gospel on radio. We do so many other outreaches. We do healing meetings every month. Uh, I have many, many online platforms, very many media platforms that we minister to. And the secret is committed partners. The gospel is free, but it is expensive to bring out. Would you consider becoming a monthly partner with this ministry? You can give as the Lord leads you. You can give us an amount every month. You can use those phone numbers that are written on the screen. You can support us. You know, when you support the gospel, you become a partaker of the grace that runs on the ministry. You become a partaker of the blessings and the favor that run on the ministry. As, as a matter of fact, there is a blessing that is reserved for those who support the gospel. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Paul was writing to the Philippian church that had been partnering with him in preaching the gospel. And he says, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I learned that when you partner with the gospel, you open the door for divine supply into your life. As you partner with us, I believe that the Lord shall bless the work of your hands. The Lord shall make his grace abound to you so that at all times, having all that you need, you shall abound in every good work. Please consider supporting this program. Consider supporting Christ Like Nations International financially. And as you do that, the blessing of God shall flow into your life. Thank you so much for supporting our ministry. God bless you.